guys, it's Hayley. Oh, I think I may have this um, narration audio thing figured out. Um, I think it is uh, an issue similar to that my children have with the software needing me to tell it three times that I want to use the headset. Yes, I think my children have the same issue. They need to be told three times before they do anything. Anyway, um, I'm hoping I'm going to do this really short one. Well, I think it's quite short. And um, then if it doesn't work, then I'm going to have a um, tantrum about it. And um, then we'll move on from there. I'm hoping, I'm hoping this is the issue because it's an easy fix. Okay, so this layout here, I am using my kit for July from the stash, oh goodness, sorry, Scrap Stash Kit Club. And I'm also using a sketch from Scrapbook Challenges, it's Challenge 400. And this goes together really fast because it's a sketch and I already knew what I was doing. So most of the items here are from the Amy Tan Plus One. What I'm cutting just there is one of the um, cards from the Project Life Kit. That doily that's cut in half is from the die cuts. That pink card is from the Project Life Kit as well. Now these pictures are of my oldest two daughters and about their <laughs> obsession with attempting to grow things. Now they do have a vegetable garden so they're not completely deprived but they do try and grow <laughs> things from seeds all the time. You know, like just regular things like apple seeds, pumpkin seeds, not not seeds in a packet. Um, they make these huge markers with, as you can see in the picture, with this bamboo stick and leaves on it so we won't lose the spot. <laughs> and they seem to decorate the planted area with my pegs and petals and all sorts of stuff. It's really very funny. But I like that they're outside. I like that they're doing normal healthy things. So I let them go for it. So here I decided that it was just up a wee bit too far. So I'm just I think I think I managed to salvage it without any damage, so that's always a good thing. So I think this is the last um, page you'll see from me with the July kit um, and the inspiration for the August kit should be up tomorrow I believe and um, it's my daughter's birthday tomorrow so I have my hands full but tomorrow night I'm going to pull my stuff for the next kit which will be great because I'm looking forward to throwing myself into something else. Um, I have a couple more videos to narrate but I really want to get this audio sorted because it's a wee bit disheartening when you put the time in and then it isn't working out. So hopefully we're on the right track now. This wee um, frame I have there, that's also from the Project Life box. I just uh, trimmed down a card and I'm using that for my title. Um, this lettering is from the plus one as well and yeah it's just a really simple page but I quite like the um, the bright pink and the bright green on the craft and with the craft and black because I probably wouldn't use you know too much even though I have a bunch of um, children that are girls I don't use a bunch of you know the really hot pink and things like that. So I had um, pulled out a few wee embellishments that I wanted to use. Now these stickers I wanted to show you these I don't know I know Typo the, we have a store in New Zealand called Typo and it's kind of a trendy gifty homeware not really um, large homeware but like they do canvases and lamps and Anyway, um, and I know it's in Australia, I think it's in Malaysia, mm. Hong Kong, don't know. And uh, I don't know if it's in the States at all, I have no clue. But anyway, they have these wee tins of um, stickers and those ones that I just showed you were um, 
white lettering on black and you get 30 sheets of those letters. I got some maybe oh, two years ago that look similar to the um, little Dymo label letters. Uh, they're a bit smaller and they kind of the um, black part isn't solid, it's kind of a wee bit translucent and I've still I use them all the time and I've still got some. This is a new box, the the little black ones with the white and uh, I just love having 30 sheets of, <laughs> of them. So I just thought I'd share in case, in case there is a typo. Oh, they're online and I'm sure they would ship internationally if anyone needed them. But um, yeah, it's a store that's in most of our local malls so and they just have bits and they they're very on trend like they'll have you know when the deer head things are really popular they had all of that and anything that's really trendy um they have a lot of okay so down in this um bottom doily i've just um put the green darling puffy sticker and then i've put in the black letters and um, these darling girls and I've used up on the left hand side that little arrow that was from Freckle Fawn and that little green camera is from Evalicious and this is a little pink flare that came with the plus one this kit's been really good for pulling in just those um, random odd um, pieces that I had left over just single you know like that single lot of arrow that single camera and getting them used so I'm fidgeting about with that flare I just took the foam off of it because it was the, the um, frame is already up on foam so I didn't want two lots of foam so I've taken the foam off and just put a double lot of um, tape on the back Now I am going to journal soon and I journal quite a lot and I believe I cut it out because <laughs> that can get a bit tedious but I'll just read you my journaling because it will probably take me that long. It says these girls are always out and about in the garden. So many of my bowls and cups can be found out there somewhere. They have this they have a little obsession with planting seeds, apple seeds, pumpkin seeds, whatever. They make these huge markers from bamboo and leaves so that they can find them again. Obviously we would not be able to see it, so the petals and pegs, <laughs> they are so subtle. They really want to grow an actual apple tree but don't really realise how long that takes. They do plant things in the vegetable garden, but that is just seasonal. Their obsession is not seasonal. I love that you are out there in the garden covered in dirt getting messy, messy. totally Kiwi kids. jumping forward and I just want to point out there was one line there probably this line here where I'd started to slant up in my writing I'd actually finished my journaling and um, so I just add another line that kind of heads the other direction and it tricks your eye and I think this might be it here actually it tricks your eye into thinking that it's even you kind of just even it up so anybody that needs help um, with their getting their handwriting the way they want on the layout that's just a tip like if you do one line that heads you've noticed that it's heading the wrong way just straighten up the next line and then the next line after that head the other way and it tricks your eye into thinking actually it's not that bad <laughs> so here is um, sorry about that didn't want to focus on that one Here's just showing you the details, very simple. And I just remembered that on that card I wanted to write, like, let's go in the garden, because that's what they're always saying to each other. Okay, and that is the layout. Thanks so much. It's a really simple, easy, straightforward one. Um, thanks for watching, and I will talk to you again soon. Have a great day.